Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 versus 1 bot cast. We have got ourselves a Terran versus Protoss on the map Grezvan today. In the bottom right, an, a bot I believe I've cast, or maybe I went to cast it one time and didn't, but it's Apidae. And uh, in the top left, it's Mecha Shark, the Terran part of this TVP. Uh, I cast Mecha Shark, I believe lately. I cast so many bots, to be honest, guys. <laughs> and uh, it can be hard to keep track. Uh, usually by watching a bot play, though, I'll be like, oh yeah, I've totally cast that bot two years ago. I remember this goofy strategy, that sort of thing. Uh, we've got a cannon rush coming out of Apidae, so Mecha Shark trying to defend against that uh, one pylon going down at the natural base going for the far out cannon rush which is a very viable strategy uh, particularly against bots the contain that sort of thing Apidae going for double pylon is interesting I wonder if that's just anticipating like a worker pull or something like that anyway we have got a cannon on the way mecha shark saying <laughs> all of a sudden spamming chat not like this. Oh, that's interesting. That was like totally the title of my of one of my other videos. That's why I titled it because I already cast back a shark. <laughs> it comes full circle. There we go. See, uh, that pylon does get canceled, not or that cannon gets canceled, not killed. Pardon me. Uh, Mecha shark sending out a tag fast forge. That's pretty apparent at this point. More and more cannons going up. However, marine didn't just pop out, so I think we may be looking at a failed cannon rush, ladies and gentlemen. And for this failed cannon rush, can we get a like on this video for uh, every hole that is in this piece of cheese? And uh, let's see, yeah, all those cannons going down. The rush has failed. They're just being thrown up. That one was actually killed, not canceled. That one's canceled, but yeah, it's uh, it's quarter past not happening for Apidae. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy seeing bots cheese, cheese the heck out of each other, make sure to go ahead and comment more bots down below so far solid defense from mecha shark had a little bit of mining going on didn't pull too many workers or really have any idle time with those workers on the defense that's a big one uh and then yeah looks pretty darn good here for mecha shark to transition out of this game of course apidae isn't just gonna die because of that uh Bots have a little bit more wiggle room than humans do when it comes to cheesing and counter cheesing. Although if you're a Protoss and you can't, if you cheese me, you'll probably just be fine because I'm horrible at uh, coming back and punishing that sort of thing. Now uh, let's take a look here. Command center going up for Mecha Shark. Delayed CC, but it goes up nonetheless. A Reaper is now on the way for Mecha Shark. So I'm going to have that crossing the map going for a scout. I love to see that bots... I love to see bots that sort of have contingency and don't have their sort of strategy thrown off whenever they're proxied, that sort of thing. Like, uh, Mech Shark's like, okay, defend the proxy, then throw out my command center and get things going normally. Get a Reaper so I can scout out whatever the Protoss is following up with. I love that sort of decision from the bot author. And then the Reaper is going to cross the map. Bunker is going up. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how, uh, Mecha Shark is gonna do here. If I recall, the last game I cast with Mecha Shark, it was on, it was just playing defensive sort of thing, if I recall correctly. So, we'll see if it's gonna go that way or not. Two Zealots are crossing the map here for Apidae. Uh, they are out, but they're fully scouted here by that Reaper, so now that Reaper can sort of just run away from those. Uh, it's utilizing that mass APM click and currently 18k APM. A lot of that going into controlling that Reaper, but yeah, Zealots are very slow at catching Reapers, but of course uh, that bot very well could get caught. So Zealots crossing the map here for Apidae, a sentry on the way behind this, but that Reaper is doing just fine, scouting everything out. The three Zealots clearly points to some aggression coming from the Protoss, most likely the Zealots. Uh, they're like, I want it, I want it. Sort of like... Uh, like they're at a zoo there, and it's a lion. It's like, I'd eat him if I could get him, but... Let's see, Reaper scouting out, keeping these zealots very, very busy. Two Hellions and a Banshee are now on the way for Mecha Shark. 
And uh, yeah, so far things seem to be going pretty good for uh, for the Terran AI, just scouting everything out. But then, I mean, Apode did transition out of this. It canceled most of the cannons as it was throwing them up. It didn't commit too much to the proxy, so it is okay. Now, this is something that I'm interested to see interested to see how it's going to work out for hellions crossing the map this is one of the strongest harassments versus protoss that terran can do now how is this ai going to pull this off the hellions run right into the zealots beautiful force fields go down from apidae or just force field singular but these hellions oh they're sort of getting caught out a little bit here so unfortunately not very effective the protoss was more or less in position to defend this even dropping down the force field is great to see and that was a very solid defense by the Protoss bot. So, Mecha Shark committed to that aggression, did not get anything done. It's got a Banshee for a follow-up, a Siege Tank on the way behind this, and a third base on the way behind this. But all in all, pretty solid defense from Apidae. And I know that I don't comment on the APM very much of the bots, but uh, it is interesting to see the different approaches. Like, the, the APM for Apidae is often so much lower, it seems, than that of uh, Mecha Shark. Of course, it spikes up every now and then for Apidae, I suppose, as it's controlling its units. Zealots moving forward with the sentries to support. Mecha Shark trying to defend here. The bunkers being worked on. A couple of uh, sentries there trying to zap it down, and they do. The Zealots are pretty uncontested right now. Tanks getting shots off on them, though. Uh, if the Zealots get on this tank, that would be huge, but instead they're sort of dilly dallying a bit, hitting that command center with all their rage, so. That's actually a saving grace there for Mecha Shark. SCV is trying to repair this tank, keeping it alive to get a few more shots off. Another tank does pop out, so Mecha Shark not dead yet by any means. Uh, there we go, tank getting a shot off on the sentries. That's a big deal. Probe getting gunned down. The tank now coming to the low ground. It looks like this will be a hold for the Terran. All the while, getting up Hyperflight Rotors on those Banshees, Infernal Pre-Igniters. There is two Banshees across the map harassing, and no detection in position here for Apidae. There's a single Observer crossing the map, and wow, these Banshees are getting a lot of work done. Soon they're going to have Hyperflight Rotors too, so they'll be able to get away even faster. There's not too much anti-air here. We see Mecha Shark saying, tag two bases. I do love those chat tags. Two tanks getting set up here, but that counter damage by Mecha Shark is huge. And knowing Banshees, there'll probably be quite a bit more after this, and there is. There's another Observer on the way for the Protoss bot, but this one's just across the map. It hasn't come, ho come home at all. So still, no detection to deal with these Banshees. Another one's about to pop out. It is very difficult, I imagine, to program a bot to deal with the detected units because there's multiple factors when it comes to defending them, uh, to defending invisible units, but still that is not easy for Apidae going down to 21 workers. The attack was pretty much shut down. Things are looking mighty good for Mecha Shark. We've got some more Zealots and Stalkers crossing the map. I believe there was even an Immortal made. There is. It's just staying at home though. Interestingly enough, oh, what are those guys doing? What are you doing? You're not even proper Banshee defense. I'm curious what that is. I guess that is just like a home point rally, but yeah, look at this. A rally in against two siege tanks does not work for the Protoss. The Stalkers leading the charge, they gotta turn around. The Zealots are there, but there's Banshees, there's Cyclones. I think this game is pretty much a foregone conclusion at this point. Uh, sometimes you can usually tell how it, like, uh, you, sometimes it can be more difficult to tell which bot's gonna win, but after that Banshee damage, that was so huge. Like, 45 probes have died this game. That is nuts. Uh, so even with the machine macro, uh, Apidae is in quite a tricky position, particularly when there's more Banshees out on the map. There's an Observer following the Banshees now, but still, I mean, it's a three-base Terran going up to four bases. Things are not looking too good for the Protoss. We'll have to see a major bug, maybe if Mecha Shark crashes or something. Uh, Apidae can win, but uh, let, yeah, things are looking pretty good for... For the Terran bot. For some reason, Apidae is hallucinating more immortals. I wonder what that's about. Um, really no idea what that's about, to be honest. But they're there. They're just hanging out. Maybe the immortal got lonely. Like, oh yeah, you, you totally have friends. Um, let's see. Stalker is looking to pursue to chase the Banshees away. Of course, a couple more probes got killed. Like another eight or something, which is 
few more than Apidae can afford at this point. The tank army is growing, Hellion's growing, a lethal mech composition from Mecha Shark should be no surprise based off that name. The production is actually still pretty limited by Mecha Shark, only three factories, but then it does have a starport. It's making units out of that nonstop. And uh, yeah, we see a scan go down in the main base. I'm Scan logistics or something that's interesting. I wonder what makes bots decide to do that. Um, I wonder if that is a thing that you could program fairly easily to get ideal scan locations if you're going to make a bot scan for information. You probably just run a bunch. Of, it would be like sort of machine learning, I guess, but you just get a program that tells you where on the grid this building is more often than not by analyzing a bunch of games. And then, uh, off that, then, uh, you can just sort of tell your bot where to scan. Where's the best place? I wonder if that's a factor, or if it's just sort of guessing. Of course, that would be a lot of work for something that might not necessarily give an amazing return, but it very well would be an interesting option. You could even just look at a couple pro replays and be like, yeah, that's where the building usually is. Scan there. That sort of thing. Lots of tanks here for Mecha Shark. The tanks are doing a Siege on Siege dance. I wonder what this is about. Very curious what's going on here with those boys, but anyway. Yeah, the Terran is just building on up. The Banshee's going for some more harassment. This is where a cannon, a battery blink would all be useful here. Playing against a Terran, if you're ever if you're ever playing against a Terran that's going for the cloak banshees, get blink. Build a cannon, build a battery. You'll save yourself a lot of grief as a Protoss player. Um, Apidae has now lost 64 workers, and yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just waiting for the end on this one, ladies and gentlemen. So I am going to fast forward a little bit here. There is a battle cruiser now on the way for Mecha Shark. Getting up more starports, multiple battle cruisers on the way. Banshee's crossing the map once more, kills off another probe. Still just two bases for Apidae. Yeah, it's uh, it's not looking too good. I'm curious where this probe's going. Where are you going, little guy? Hmm. Where are you going? He's going here. Just hanging out, scouting out, and he's dead. Yeah, a bit of an anticlimactic game at this point, but this is something that you get when you cast every bot game. I just click on a replay, open it up, and if you want to see more more bot games, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Join the Discord. <laughs> Mecha Shark is playing like a villo. There's turrets and bunkers to push. Uh, I'd say, oh, I better check what happens in this fight, but I think it's pretty clear how this fight's gonna go as Apidae. Uh, trying to kite with the stalkers, the zealots did eventually get charged. Or no, they didn't actually get charged. They were just moving fast because of the fast forward. But yeah, uh, Mecha Shark, beautiful late game. Keeping the resources low, spending that money, getting lots of bases. Love to see it. And uh, yeah, thanks so much to everyone for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.